you want to do a thing in a cylinder form with an area of 200 square centimeters, okay? You have to calculate the, <coughs> the base radio, radio and the, how do you say, altura? Eight. Eight. For a maximum value. Okay, so you've got a cylinder. A straight one. And they say that the area is 200 square centimeters. <coughs> and you want to know the radius and the height for it to have the maximum value. Okay? So you have two formulas here. The area of the cylinder that is the area is P R squared 2 because you have two circles here and here okay and then you have <coughs> the lateral area this is the A and this is so this is the area of a cylinder. Okay? Did you know the formula? Do you know this is this and this two circles and this is the rectangle, ah. the lateral sum. Okay? Yeah. And this has to be the length of the circle. Okay. Two P R. Okay? Yeah. So you multiply the base two P R times the A and you get the total area of the cylinder. Okay. <coughs> and the value is this formula. Okay? So you use one formula. This one, you know, this is 200 <coughs> and you have here two, two things you got to know, but in the formula you can only put one variable, okay? Mm -hmm. You can use one variable. Okay. Just one, but you have two, so you use the other formula to take one variable from the other. Which one is easier to to take out? The A. Hmm? So the A is two hundred. So you got the A here, and you have to um, put in this formula, that is the one you have to maximize, the other one. So this would be 200. And you have to maximize the value. So this is the formula you have to take. Okay? I'm going to put it in a better way, this P with this P, and this sub with this sub. So you get it. 200R minus 2PRQ divided by 2. And you can simplify the two and write 100R minus PRQ. Okay? It's easy. And this is the formula you have to derive because you want the maximum value.
Now, I take this, I derivate and, and I get 100 minus 3 p r squared. And I equal this to 0, and I get 100 equal to 3 p r squared. 100 divided by 3 p. And r equal to uh, equals to square root 100 divided by 3p of 10 by square root 3p. But I have to know if that's a maximum or a minimum. How do I do that? I'm going to calculate that number, 10 divided by square root 3 p that is 3 2 5 7 and again a number on the left and a number on the right and I <coughs> take this to the derivative and I get here a hundred is positive so here is creciendo it's growing, 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 Let's say wrong. And if I take the four, it's sure it's going to be negative. 100 minus 3 p. Okay, negative. So this is not positive. So here I have a maximum. That's the maximum for the R. And now I've got to get the eight. I'm just substituting here. I like to do things not with decimals, okay? Just with fractions. That is more mathematical and more accurate. This is. square root 3p divided by 3 and that's the thing so you have to first you have to get two formulas one the one you want to maximize and the other one to find a relation between the two variables you have here here you have radius and a okay so wait, wait, wait. <coughs> 
And then you substitute it in the other one, you derivate, and you get is it's a maximum or a minimum. And that's the thing. And all problems of optimization are the same. 